When you're looking at buying a boat, it's really easy to focus in only on the dollar value. But there's a cost that can be far greater than anything to do with money. Hi, I'm Nika Waters and welcome to the Boat Galley Podcast. Today I'm talking about that hidden cost that is too easy to underestimate. And yes, it's the time involved with any boat project. Today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by Lunatech, makers of the hydration spray bottle, odor-free dishcloth, and self-cleaning washcloth. Lunatech offers practical gear designed to save water and reduce waste. A water bottle that doubles as a hose? A dishcloth that doesn't get stinky? Yes, please. Visit lunatechgear.com to learn more. Use code BOATGALLEY to save 10% on everything. Lunatech, innovative gear, for your outdoor adventure. Well, before you can go on your outdoor adventure on a boat, you gotta have the boat. And when you are setting up your cruising dreams, generally you've got a budget in mind. And that budget might include the cost of the boat as well as upgrades to do, plus any money you then have left over to go cruising. And all that is well and good, but I will argue that it would be very important also to put a time budget on it all. Because the fact of the matter is that any boat project takes way longer and costs way more than you think it will going into it. We've been very well aware of this. We've had our boat for 30 years, and yes, we couldn't have bought it if it wasn't a project boat to begin with. So you may be wondering why it is that I'm spending time talking about this now. Well, we're in the middle of a major refit on Calypso, and It's become very, very apparent, even though we're now retired and can spend all the time that we have, which is all of it, on the boat, that time is a huge factor. So when you buy a project boat, you're looking at the dollar signs. You're looking at the cost of the boat and you say, oh, great, I can get the boat that I want. It's going to cost me a whole lot less. Well, as you're looking at that and you're considering the projects that you're going to have to do to bring it up to speed, Take time into consideration because it's one thing if you say, oh, okay, it's going to be a three-month refit because you have only the galley sink to change out to be able to go cruising. And spoiler alert, that doesn't make it a project boat. The thing with a project boat and time is that it's not just the time that it takes you to do the project. Sure, that's a big one. But if you are working nine to five and you're living away from the boat, or heck, if you're even living close to the boat, particularly if your project list includes things like painting, is that weather can add huge amounts of time to your project, even though you don't ever intend it to. If you're painting, you need to have the temperatures and the humidity right to be able to get a reasonable finish on it. And if you're working a nine to five job, and only have the weekends, well, you can't dial in perfect weather on the weekend. And so something that might take you a month of perfect weekends might wind up taking you five or six months because the weather isn't right to get it done. So that hidden cost of weather adding time to your projects is something that's really, really hard to figure out and hard to plan for. The other thing with time and cost is that, yes, it's a cliche that time costs money, but the longer you're out in a yard doing projects, the more that time on the hard is costing you. It's costing you, obviously, in terms of boatyard time. It's costing you in terms of commute time for you. It's costing you in terms of time away from other things you want to be pursuing, or the fact is that maybe you're looking and you're saying, okay, I've got four years to make this adventure happen. And so the cost of the boat means that I can go cruising for that four years. But what happens if that boat then takes you three years to get done? And by done, I don't mean finished because no boat is ever finished, but good enough to go sailing on? All of a sudden, your four-year window is now a one-year window. And time costs. So a project boat that looks like a cheap boat might wind up being more expensive than you could possibly imagine. And I think 
it's something that probably we need to spend a little bit more time talking about. Sure, there are resources. If you are going to take on a project boat because you know that you only have a very, very small amount of money and you've got lots and lots of time, heck, maybe you've got a backyard where you can bring the boat to your backyard and then you can work on it a half an hour at night when you're done with your other job or your job is flexible and you can take time out on a gorgeous Thursday afternoon and do the work that you want to be doing. That would be something that would make a project boat worthwhile. Maybe you actually love the idea of bringing something back from almost dead. And there are so many wonderful old good boats out there that just need your time and love and attention to bring it back. And there's something joyful about that whole process. If that's something that absolutely speaks to your soul and is critical to your well-being, by all means, take on a project boat. But if your goal is to get sailing as fast as you can, and all you're doing is looking at the dollar signs, I'd argue that there is something that could be possibly more costly than even any money in your bank account. So think about that. Sure, there are amazing resources. And if you are taking on a project boat, I can't recommend two things more strongly, other than building up a community of people to whom you can turn when you have a question. But the two things that we use on board Calypso all the time, This Old Boat by Don Casey and Good Old Boat Magazine, if you're going to take on a project boat, I can't recommend those two things more highly. Project boats can be a source of endless joy because when you look and you realize that you've been the one to bring it to life, that's a source of pride. But don't underestimate the amount of time, as well as the amount of money, that it might take to bring it back. Because time, you can't ever get back. I can't wait to share an anchorage with you when we're both out there cruising on our boats. Have the most. Thank you so much for listening to the Boat Galley podcast. If you found it helpful or useful, please feel free to share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe in your favorite podcast app have the most spectacular week. <music>